It is the anniversary of a deadly day in West Michigan, a look back at the tornadoes that hit Kent and Allegan counties 47 years ago. And how we listen to music has really changed over the years. The special day to remember a thing from the past, the 8th Craft Tape. players are a popular choice to play songs. Can you believe how They're tiny that is? Little. I mean, that's, <laughs> you can't even see it on camera. There it is. But in the 1970s, this was the in way to play your music. On the go. Today, many people don't even know what this is, but some people are learning since this is National 8-Track Day. WZZF 13's Blake Naftel has more. It's a bygone music format. Still, the plastic tape cartridge known as the 8-track was the way to play your music while mobile, beginning in the late 60s and dominating the 1970s. Back in the days, uh, it was the way to go for music, and so, you know, uh, there was nothing else uh, as far as uh, having a tape, so everybody went with it. It was bulky and often wore out quickly, but still to this day, the 8-track with its bassy hiss and quick song transitions sells. We usually sell a buck a piece. This time of year, we sell quite a few. It's uh, mostly a lot of people that are buying those for, you know, their hot rod cars. They had 8-track players in them, and they actually didn't sound that bad. I guess you'll have... Many 8-tracks are finding new homes with people born well after its heyday. It doesn't have the same warmth as the record, but there's still something about that tape format. It was still it was a bit different than cassette. It's cool. It reminds me of the old Nintendo. It doesn't even go in all the way. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, nice, it'd be a nice conversation piece. Yeah. <laughs> but some who experienced 8-tracks when they were in have other thoughts. It's in the past and it's going to stay in the past. Uh, <laughs> Would you ever buy one again? No. <laughs> Nostalgia seems to be the 8-track's main saving grace these days. With the 8-tracks, if you were in the car and singing along with it, why it would click every time and you could hear everybody else in the car singing when it went dead for just a fraction of a second and switched, it was kind of different. And on National 8-Track Tape Day, there are still some out there keeping the player alive and well. We want to be a lighthearted society and why not celebrate something as simple as 8-tracks? It's got its place and I suppose it's had its day, but uh, there's still people that have a lot of fun with it. Blake Naftel, WZZM 13 News.
One of the reasons the 8-track may have gone out of style is it likes to eat tapes like this one. You know, it just disappeared just like that. I that know. was the amazing part. One day everybody had 8-tracks, the next day everybody had cassettes. Cassette. But there are a few lost tapes that can be worth listening to, we think. See, that's why. There, there it is. A little Willie Nelson here? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't sound bad. You know, Blake found this today. I know, and he put it together. And there are people, as we saw, that worship 8-tracks even today. So there it is. A blast from the past. We think. Keep going. <laughs> That's why it's... Here's the International Dateline. Charter scientists are bringing you tomorrow's...